Welcome back to Bleed Blue 365. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and break down a little bit of the second half last week and the final game recap. Since I haven't done it, uh, then we're going to kind of discuss, see where Kentucky sits right now uh, as a program. Um, and then we'll see if we can't come up with a way Kentucky gets a win today at South Carolina. For all that, stay tuned. Uh, so, let's go ahead. I've, I've slacked a little bit. I've had some phone trouble. I do all my videos on my cell phone. Uh, I've had trouble with, with my other cell phone. I finally got that fixed. Uh... That's all you need to know. Um, so I've kind of slacked off this week and not had another video. Uh, but this is going to be your, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and, pre, going to go ahead and finish off last week's game. And we're going to go ahead and go into this week's. And even see what, 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 what what's the possibilities for Kentucky uh, throughout the rest of the season when we got left on our schedule. Um, so, I'm doing this video after everything is said and done. Uh, you know, we already had all of our... I'm on game day, so it's... I'm a little late. My opinion was that last weekend, Kentucky wasn't ready for that game. The coaches didn't prepare them. Uh, it was almost like that we weren't even ready to play that game. Um, we, we looked good to start the game. Came out moving the ball, but the bad thing was, and all honestly, we threw a ball. We, Sawyer Smith threw a, pit, a pass he really shouldn't have. I'm not blaming Sawyer Smith. I'm not blaming no players. This is all on the coaches. I don't blame players. I'll blame the coaches. Um, Eddie Grant has a. I don't. I don't know if this is Eddie Grant or if Mark Stoops really has a hand in this, but we have this. Milk in the clock gameplay. I mean, it's just what we do. Uh, it's all about ball control, running the ball, mixing in some passes. Pretty, yes, me. They talk. They call it balance, but they they do it just to keep defenses honest. Um, I mean, what can you say here? Uh, we came out of halftime last week, and we looked like we were ready to play and come back. Uh, we had our chances. We stalled again. Um, I, I just want to know one thing. How was that not rough for the kicker? Uh, I didn't really see a push by our, our, our lineman pushing that guy into chance. Um, last I heard, I haven't really kept up with it. Last I heard, chance was injured. And the only, thing, the only video I've missed this week, you know, press, you know pra after practice interviews, Really was the Mark Stoops yesterday or Friday or Thursday uh, where he kind of wraps up the week before the game. Last one. Um, but other than that, guys, I mean, it was just too big of a hill for us to come back. Uh, we, we just were, we were too far behind. Uh, it just seems like Kentucky has a problem. We lose a game. A close game, a tough, grinded out game, and Florida hit us in the mouth. We had the game won. We thought we had the game won. We should have won that game. We knew we should have won that game, and we did the same thing last year. But last year, Georgia kept us. Uh, we really didn't just didn't have it last year against Georgia. Uh, they kept the you know kept the score there, you know, two scores at all times. Um, and then we go down and lose to a shitty Tennessee team. Um, this year, we lose a tough game to Florida. And then we go down and we lose to a shitty Mississippi State team in Starkville. Uh, but the bad thing is we have, we've had problems in Starkville to begin with. I made the comment last week in, my pre in the preview. But, yet I still thought we were going to blow them out. Uh, that was my first mistake. No, no, 
Stoops Grand coach team is going to blow out anybody. Uh, we don't even blow out Division One, two teams in you know, <laughs> a group of five schools. Uh, but it just we don't. Uh, we play. We let everybody leave everybody in there. I don't like it. We just. I mean, this is just what I got to get used to. I'd rather us try to keep our foot on the gas and just go ahead and make sure there's no chance, give them no chance at all to come back on us, then do what we do. Uh, uh, we, we get, we just, we, we're just bad at facing adversity. You know, we get popped in the mouth and we'll, we lay down the sec, you know, next week. Um, I mean, at least they showed up in the second half this week. I can say that much. Uh, just too big, you know, just too big of a hill to climb. Uh, and also, I got something else to call out on our fans here. I'm actually friends with Chance Poor's dad on Facebook. This man shut down his all of his social media because you got because our fans can't stop sending him hate mail about his son. That that is a 19 year old boy kicking field goals. Who was number one kicker punter, you know, kicker and punter in all the fucking 2018 and every camp. Uh, he had his scholarship pulled from Clemson because Brett Venable's son wanted to go. I mean, I talked to Chance's dad, so I know the whole story here. Um, I mean, Chance is a hell of a kicker. I mean, kicking is a mindset. I mean, you know, you miss a couple. You got to get in your head. And it's just like a baseball player. It's very mind. It's very mindful. It, you know, you start not believing in yourself. You have to overcome it. You know, it needs support. So I, I'm just asking everybody right now, please get behind Chance. Quit sending his dad and Chance mean, hateful messages. It just stop. Uh, if you want to, you want to blame somebody for a loss, go go talk to Mark Stoops and Eddie Grant. Uh, Mark Stoops has a calling show every Saturday night, uh, every Monday night, every week. Uh, you you, you want to take something up, take it up with him, because Chance is the best kicker. I, uh, Chance is probably one of the best kickers in college football. Uh, he showed that to us numerous times. Uh, he, I mean, he's just right now. In game situations, you know, he's just, he, he's, I, I mean, he's just, his confidence is low. It happens. Nobody works harder than him, though. And uh, everybody will back that up. Nobody. There's even an article with his high school coach who says nobody works harder than Chance Board. Uh, he works out like a quarterback. Every day he's out there kicking field goals. He's trying to get better. He's trying to become the best that he can be. Uh, so, I mean, guys, just leave the chance alone on his dad. Um, that's all I got to say about that because it's bullshit. Go out. I mean, I, I get on here and I'll call out coaches. I'll call coaches out. I don't like Cal Perry. Uh, I don't, you know, he's kind of conservative too. You know, at least he blows teams out. But uh, Stoops, I, I don't know. If it's Stoops, Grant, I don't know. But as a coach, Offensive coordinator, you know, part of the job. You get, you get to hear some of this. Um, I, I don't know the whole problem here. <laughs> I, I, all I know is when we come out, we're, we're starting to punch people in the mouths. We got to keep our foot on the fucking gas. Excuse my language. But it, it, we got to. Uh, but now let's go on. You got Kentucky versus South Carolina. Um at 7.30 tonight on the SEC Network in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, what are these guys doing? Oh, anyways, guys, uh, Kentucky's won five years straight, five straight games. Um, I, I'm gonna, I'm, I, I think we, we should make it in six this year. No, no reason. Uh, Number one, but we just gotta have, we gotta come out ready to play. Uh, we can lose this game easily. 
uh, from you know Jake Bentley got injured. Uh, he's out for the year. Um, their second string quarterback is last I heard was nursing an injury. Uh, I never heard if he was a go or not. I did hear hit their second one. Well, now their backup quarterback is out uh, with a spring. Something. Yeah, I don't know he sprained something. And the fourth string has only thrown the ball. You know, I think he's only had completed one pass for like 74 yards or something. Uh, both their backup quarterback and their third string quarterback, right as of right now, now that Bentley's out, are both wide receivers and quarterbacks. Um, I don't know. What this? What happens here? Um, but we'll see how it goes. All I can say is Kentucky, from what I've seen, South Carolina can throw the ball. Uh, this backup's pretty good. Um, I mean, the one thing that I said last week was Mississippi State's strong point was rush. Kentucky's strong point was defensive rush, stopping the run. Well, last week we didn't. Uh, I don't. I don't know because I. I've seen a couple of the videos by Cash and, and Trask. I don't know. Uh, I kind of want to believe Cash, so. But if Stoops felt that it was necessary to hold him out, need to punish him. Uh, I would have almost said he needed to be punished more than just a quarter, but it is what it is. Uh. I think that kind of hurt us a little bit because Chris Oates was made. Well, I that was his second start. I think I think he started one game last year, but I I, I mean either way, you know we had what was it Carter T J Carter also was you know we had to miss the first half because that bullshit targeting call. I mean we we were just defense. The front seven was just wasn't up to par to start that game. Um. They really didn't come to play until the second half. But I'm talking about South Carolina. We got to. We got to. We got to get out of this freaking prevent defense. I don't know why we play this stupid five yards off the receiver. We're just giving them free five yards. And, I mean, you mark my words, every week, every week, that well, as soon as they see us off five eight yards off the, off the receivers, here comes that bubble. They'll, they'll go four wide, spread it out. That inside one comes in and pretty much just starts blocking, catch it, and, then, and then we just give up three yards. He's already guaranteed five yards. Um, but mark my words, we got we got to stop that. Uh, defensively, we got to stop the run. Uh, we can't let them run for another. No, we can't give up another two hundred yards rushing. I actually think it was 260 yards rushing last week. Um, pass, I mean, it's, I'm okay with the, the the bim don't break. It's almost like every year Stoops believes that our defense, our corners, can't run with the other wide receivers in the SEC. I hate to say it that way, but that's just how I feel. Um, um, we just got to start playing Gotta stop this. Uh, like I said, run. I mean, I would like to see Xavier Peters get in. Uh, last I knew, he was. They said he would play when he's. They feel he's ready to run the play UK defense uh, style. Uh, I like to see him get in. Uh, and then on offense, let's go to offense. Uh, we, we dropped a lot of balls last weekend. I uh, mean, that's dropped, what was it, three touchdowns? Lynn Bowden dropped two of them, and Mon Wagner dropped another one. Um, Bowden had an unusual game last week. He dropped a lot of balls. Uh, but so, I mean, so wide receiver wise, we need to catch the ball. Sir Smith has put some, you know, he put some balls where they need to be, but he also throws some balls that he shouldn't throw. Uh, so we need, we just need to. I, I I want us to go back to that damn throwing the ball. I mean it's it's really hard to throw the ball when the defense knows you got to throw the ball. Uh, third and long, 
down 21. I mean, these are scenarios here where you got to throw the ball. There, you know, everybody knows. Everybody knows you're throwing the ball. You can't. You can't afford to you know run the ball. You have to pass it. Um, I, I just and I want to see Chris Rodriguez get in better more. Uh, I missed it last week when Chris Rodriguez got in. I must have been when was, I had to run inside and I missed it. But I mean, because I say smoke. AJ Rose. Up until last week, I, I wasn't too sure about AJ, but he had a great game last week. And Kvasi, you know, was down a little bit. Those are two power backs. But I, I think in the first half we need to get Chris Rodriguez going, give him some carries. That way, in the second half, we have Smoke and AJ still fresh. Let let, let them run for all the you know, run wild in the second half. Get get Chris Rodriguez, you know, in the game plan, first and second quarter, and even the third quarter, fourth quarter. Let's go AJ and, and smoke. Uh, so my game, my, here my keys to winning today, tonight, in Columbia. We got to, got to. We got to come out and hit South Carolina in the mouth. I am one of them that I, I believe 100% to win the coin toss and defer. Give them the ball. Stop them. That way you got the second the Beginning of the second half, you get the ball first. Because it almost hurts last week against Mississippi State. Uh, you know, they came out, they drove the ball down. We were already down, what was it, 21 to 3 at halftime? Nice last weekend? Something like that. Uh, so we just. We need to come out and, and just pop South Carolina in the mouth. Let's get a big stop in front. I mean, they're going to be sold out. This is Kentucky. Um, and, you know, South Carolina fans still believe they shouldn't be losing to Kentucky fans. I, I mean, I'm just saying, this ain't old Kentucky football. We're, we're here to stay. But we're, we're still showing some old fo Kentucky football ways. We just need to get out of that. Uh, I mean, look at our record. I mean, yeah, it just... But I'm going to go ahead and say Kentucky gets W tonight in a hard fought road, hostile advice. You know, <laughs> I can't even use the word. I'm tired, guys. Hostile environment. And I'm going to say Kentucky pulls this one off 27 21. Uh, Cats get the win. We go to 3 and 2, and 1 and 2 in the conference. So I told y'all at the beginning of this video, I was going to. Go ahead and see what Kentucky has coming up. Well, I just said that I think Kentucky can run the ball. We balanced today and, and you know, run and pass and get the W. So we also got Arkansas. Next week we're on a bye. Then we got Arkansas at home. Arkansas just lost San Jose State. I don't care who you are, what team you lost to. On any given Saturday, you can lose. And any given team can beat you if you don't play your game. And I think that's Kentucky's problem. I and mean, we got to play what they're trying to play. we got to play our game, our defense. You know, I hate to say it. Our defense has been don't break. Our offense, you know, we got a good offense. I mean, even with Terry or without Terry. Sawyer Smith can get the job done. And I'm sorry, guys, but he can't. Uh, I'd rather have Terry because, you know, it gives us a little bit of mobility back there. But, so, I, I mean, I believe we, we should be able to beat Arkansas as long as we play our game. And we don't let them come in and pop us in the mouth and, and shut up our fans. We got to go into South Carolina tonight and shut them down and shut their fans up, from, you know, from the kickoff. Because that, they're going to have that damn rooster going, crack, 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 and whatever else, and... Sandman and but so I think we can beat Arkansas the following week I'll actually be at the game but we go down to Athens got a game against Georgia I think we can keep that game interesting and close I don't think we can get the job done though Georgia's really really good um, I, didn't, I, I didn't know man 
didn't think Jake Fromm could throw the ball, but he kind of proved it uh, against Notre Dame last week. Uh, Georgia's on a bye week this week. They play Tennessee next week, so uh, Georgia might actually have their uh, little momentum, momentum coming in after smoking Tennessee. Um, then I don't remember who we play, but we still got Vanderbilt. I think we I actually I think we play Missouri after that. I'm not 100 percent sure though, guys. Um, I don't have the schedule in front of me. I'm just know the teams we get. We play. Um, then we got to play Missouri. Still, uh, that's at home. Uh, I. If you watch my preview video, I said, you know, preview of the season, I said we we lose that game. But I also said, beginning, you know, in that video, we could lose Mississippi State or or South Carolina being a road game. I think I took, I think I said we were going to beat Mississippi State and lose to South Carolina. But uh, then we also still got Vanderbilt. I think we can win both of those games. Which would bring us up to, well, I'm saying it was at six, six and three. Um, Tennessee, Tennessee looks shitty right now. And we still got to play them. Uh, I, I think we get smoked them. And that, that game's at home. I, I think by then, the, Tennessee might be turning the damn weight, just looking forward to next season. Uh, don't get me started on a. Lyle 2.0 over there. Tennessee's 100 times better this year than they were last year. Uh, I don't believe it. Uh, but who, who am I missing? When then we also still got Tennessee Martin, I think it is. I, I mean, mark my word, that game's going to be close. Um, shouldn't be, but it'll be close. Uh, just the way we run, the way we play. Uh, that should be a game we, we're tuning up our offense. Uh, throwing the ball, running the ball. I mean, I agree with Uncle Lou. You know, when you play these low classification schools, you should be, you know, tuning up your games, your game plan. Tuning up your defense. Tuning up your offense. Uh, but instead, we'll, we'll come out and run the ball probably 100 times that game and uh, not look great. Uh, then we finish off against Louisville. Let's newsflash that game's in Lexington. Also, also, they're not no better this year than they were last year. Uh, they got wins over Western Kentucky and Eastern Kentucky. That's it. Uh, they played Notre Dame good, but I, I still think Notre Dame overlooked them. Notre Dame was the one that was down, not Louisville up. I don't think Louisville played up. I think Notre Dame played down. And, uh, but Notre Dame pulled off the win. They ended up pulling away. But, so I I still believe in a 9 and 3. I really think it's going to be 8 and 4 because I think we lose one of those games, on, you know, coming down the stretch. Um, but I think 9 and 3 is still a very good possibility. Um, but so a seven and five, or even a six and six. It all depends on how we recover from. I, I, Georgia could go one or two ways. We're going to play them close, or we're going to get blown the frick out. And we pretty much got blown out by Mississippi State. And I thought we were done with that. I know I came back to that again, but I really thought we were done getting blown out. Uh, but anyways, guys. Uh, let's go, Cats. Like I said, South Carolina, Kentucky's going to get that win tonight, 27-21. Uh, Stay tuned. If you ain't already done so, hit the like button, share this video, and enjoy the game tonight. Peace.